go have some fun. <laughs> if you want to get on a bike and just, just for about five minutes, get a little warm up going, and then I'll go ahead and set us up on what we're going to be doing for the first couple of exercises. We're going to hit up a little bit of shoulder press. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of, because Noel is such a big guy, he's 6'2", almost 6'3", and you know, he's got a big, big frame, we want to make sure that we use equipment that properly fits him. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of scoping out the gym, tons of new equipment, bunch of new Panada equipment. Uh, the Panada equipment's been awesome, but some of the other pieces of equipment for somebody who's even bigger than um, an average person works out. So what I normally do is, especially when I just started working with somebody in terms of like just getting a workout and today is just a, it's a you know, we're doing a one-off workout and he wants to get my opinion on how, uh, what he should proceed as because he wants to probably end up getting ready for another show pretty soon. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of scope the gym, see what uh, pieces of equipment we can go to as he warms up and he gets um, uh, ready for this workout. We'll do an arsenal shoulder press. Then what we'll do is we'll uh, go around and possibly go to dumbbells, work on some dumbbells uh, because he wants to work on a little bit more of that 3D look. So we'll do FSC 7 sets on dumbbells. Maybe even do an FST 7, either uh, a reverse drop set. You know what, that's what we're gonna do. We'll have some fun, we'll do some reverse drop sets. You ready? What do you have in store for today, sir? So let's go do, we're gonna start with the Arsenal shoulder press. You're gonna get going there, and then we're gonna work our way up. Just take your time, just warm up. Get about 10 to 15 reps, see how you feel. We're just gonna use this set just to start ad for adjustments. Out wide grip? Yep, yep. You're wide, so you have to go wide. There you go. Good, good. I was sure about rep range every four years? Yeah, about 15. Yeah, about 12 to 15 reps. We're just gonna get blood in the shoulder right now. Good. 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 How's that weight? Yeah, good. Good, good. good. You want to do another set with that warm up, or do you want to throw on a 25 uh, to throw on? Uh, probably just do one more warm up. Yeah. yeah. Can you get your stuff going? Good. Yeah, with my style training, all the, the base sets, the warm ups are always 12 to 15, and then you do two to three warm up sets. Then you're doing about two working sets on the base sets. So that's like the first three or four exercises. When you get into the FSC seven sets, it's at 12 to 15 reps, but you're doing 30 seconds of rest. Okay. Yeah, so you're doing okay. very seven short. Seven sets of that. Seven sets back to back to back. And then sometimes we'll be adding in supersets of two to three different, you know, buy and try sets where you're going from one exercise to another and then you rest. You know, or you're doing one exercise, another one, and then you're doing flex sets. Yeah, yeah, you're doing flex sets too. So, okay. so, yeah. Um, so for those who don't know, the FST is the fascia stretch training. training. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's created by yourself. Yep. It's recognized as one of the best plans. If you want that roundness. Yeah. But it's a, FST 7 is not just a pump set. It's a yeah. very intense set. And then the base sets, which you're going to see, is, is going to be heavier ex weights with about that 10 to 12 reps range. So you're gonna be able to build your strength up so that when you do the FSC seven sets, you're able to eventually go heavier because it's not just doing light sets, it's intensity through heavier weight. So whilst I do this, if you don't mind, your thoughts on this junk volume, high junk volume, that there's a lot of this going around on yeah. social media, TikTok. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you? I, I just think that it's just, it's just a trend because people like to throw different types of things. Volume works, but you gotta have yeah. be strategic with your workouts. I, I get asked a lot, like, what are your PRs, you know, one rep maxes, how heavy do you press? I said, look, I, I really don't push for weight. I, yeah. I do a lot of high volume. Um, and, you know, a lot of the kids, well, kids, uh, a lot of the youngsters um, that kind of get into training just see high volume as a, as yeah. a password. Almost, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So, you, you heard it, guys. There you go. The man himself. Awesome. Good. Good. There you go. I lost count. It's okay. <laughs> You're good. You're good. All warmed up, ready to go. Good. Let's move it up. Let's throw a quarter on and we work your way up. One. Two.
Good. That's it, right there. Good. Okay. So typically we add some weight. How do you feel? Do you feel comfortable to add a, yeah. about a twenty-five? I'm happy to go about a twenty-five. Yeah. Let's do it. So typically also in the off season, what you're trying to do is trying to learn somebody's body and figure out where their imbalances are yeah. and their muscle weaknesses. So if you have some asymmetries, if you have some injuries that typically happen, I mean, you got guys who are in their 20s that are getting injured because they're going really heavy and they're very early in their careers, even if they're not professional bodybuilders, just from just being able to go in there and try to lift with their ego. Yeah. And so having to work around a lot of those things. So done that. Yeah. yeah, and it's a balancing <laughs> act. Yeah. So you have to learn about all those things and then, but you have to be getting stronger if you want to look more dense on stage. Yeah. There has to be a level to that. It's not always pump, 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 pump. Yeah. That's why yeah. so many people get it wrong about high volume. They yeah. think it's just, you know, pump, 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 pump. And they lose that muscle density. Yeah. Yep, let's do this. Good. Let's focus. We're going to get, let's go eight to 10. See how you feel. Good. 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 Come on. Push right. That's it. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Don't forget to breathe. Don't hold your breath for too long. Not more than two reps. Good. Good. Good job. Good. Good. How you feeling? Yes, done. Good. It's nice. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So what I'd like to do is now the next set, what I would consider a, a real working set, what I'd like to do is see how you do with another quarter. Do you feel comfortable to be able to do a quarter? Uh, what sort of reference you're looking at? Eight to ten. Yeah, I could get out of that. Yeah, and I can help you with a couple of forced reps too. But this is the this is the part of the the off season where you really kind of want to build up your core yeah. strength. Yeah. Let's grab some. Uh, okay. Keep your feet flat. Make sure you breathe. Keep your core tight. And drive up. That's it. Good. One. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Good. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Good. Good. Go. Go. Up. Good. One more. Drive it up, drive it up, drive it up. Now you're gonna go down nice and slow. Slow, slow, that time under tension. I'm gonna help you on the positive. Up, good, slow, 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 slow. One more just like that. Up, slow, 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 all the way down now. Good job. Good, good job. Oh, shit. Okay, now we're in it. Okay, we're gonna do one more set like that. I'm gonna lighten it 25 pounds. And then so we're gonna get a little bit, a couple more reps. But we're just gonna lighten it 25. Good. How'd that feel? Yeah. Uh, good. Intense. Good. Uh, last two. Uh, I, I was definitely relying on your assistance there. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, that was total failure yeah. at that point. Yep. Um, deep, deep burn. Good. 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 Oh, good. Yeah, and that's how you want that. Again, what we talked about earlier. It's all about time under tension. So it's about making sure that even when you can't do any more on the concentric, uh, the eccentric, you got to be able to work both of them to failure. Okay, yeah. can't, not just you know on the way up, also on the way down. Yeah. And then obviously with the partial reps there. Yes. A little bit of yep. So on this one, we're going to go a little bit lighter. We're going to be doing a little bit more partials yeah. off the bottom. So that'll be off the very bottom of the rep range, and then halfway up. And then we're going to be doing some, some sets to complete failure with four reps at the very end of this set. And then we're going to the next exercise. So we're going to go have, uh, yeah. You having uh, fun yet? Yeah. <laughs> What's in store? I have to know like what. You happy with the grip, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Just right, just as long as it feels comfortable and you don't feel pinched. Good. 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 Two. Three. Good. Good. Keep it moving. That's it. Good. That whole, they good, 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 good. Okay. Okay, now we go down all the way to the bottom and we're gonna go halfway up. Go. Halfway up. One. Two. Good. Now all the way up. All the way up. Right there. Now go slow. Go slow. Go slow. Go slow. With me. Up. Slow. 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 All the way down. All the way down. That's it. Good job. Oh my God. That's how you do that set. 
So we'll go ahead and we're gonna go over and we're gonna do some dumbbells. Uh, we're gonna do some uh, raises. Let's go over there and get it all set up. Good. Okay, that's perfect, that's perfect. Okay, so what we need to do is you need to work a little bit more on your mind muscle, okay? You're, you're, you're kind of going through the motion, but you're really not making it tougher. And you need to make it tougher to make it bigger and fuller. So what that means is you've got to slow down a little bit, okay? Um, even on your warm up, just try to get that mind muscle connection a little bit better. Go up a little bit higher, a little bit higher. You don't want to end up breaking parallel. Yeah, you don't want to go too high because then you're going to get more trapped, more right? Traps, yeah. Right. But you can go just a little bit higher on okay. you. And then just when you come up, just give it a little bit of a pause, just a split second pause so that you can control it and you're minimize momentum. Yep, that's it. That's it. And then as you go up, take your hands and make sure you're churning slightly. Yeah, yep, just up. Up, the, up there, just like you're pouring a pitcher of iced tea, yeah. right? So what you want to do is you want to go up, turn that pinky up, pause for that split second, and then come back down. Okay? Gotcha. Yeah. Perfect. Good. 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 Much better. Control, chest up. That's it. Good. Good. Right there. Much better. Good. Keep that chest up. Keep that core tight. Good. Keep that core tight. Good. Chest up. Good. As you come down, I want you to get your lats out a little wider. As you come in. That's it. There you go. Good. That's it. Two more. One more. Good job. Much better. Much better. Did you feel that? Yeah. So, I mean, so instead of just kind of almost like, it's almost like the difference between riding a bike and sprinting, right? Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to control it. You don't want to just kind of sprint through it. So what you want to do is you just want to do exactly what you did. Slow down a bit, catch your breath, keep your chest up, yeah. okay? So that you don't end up kicking in too much traps yeah. because you're, shoulding, you're, you're rolling your shoulders a bit. So you want to make sure you keep your chest up and then you put all of that right into make, maximizing your dealt with. So one thing I'm conscious of is always mm -hmm. just not yep. too much um, you know, trap activation. Yeah, so no, too much trap. Yes, I was just kind of... Yeah, you can tell, you're, sw you're swinging. Right, you know, so yeah. I do have big traps as a... As a result of that. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, obviously put all of that effort exerted towards the... The delts, you know, yeah. right now. Yeah, and then as you start doing that, your delts are going to get stronger. And then what's going to happen is your, your delts are just going to get bigger and more dense and more striated and just harder. So just those couple of little tweaks are going to make your 25, 30% better. Okay. So that's the reason why I wanted you seated is so that you have less likelihood of being able to swing. Roughly right, swing. because yeah. as you're standing and you get more of that body English, yeah. you're going to create more momentum. Yeah. So I want to try to minimize that and the taller you are, believe it or not, you're going to end up having even more of that because there's much more of you to actually be able to kind of use like almost like a spring. So if you are used to throwing your body around a lot, sit down. It's going to change your life. You're not going to be able to do nearly as much weight, but you're going to end up doing some really good quality reps. Focus. Yep. Same thing. Same technique. Really focus chest up. Good. That's it. Good. Focus. There you go. Good. Drive it up. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Right there. Good. Got slight pause. There you go. Good. 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 Three more. Three more. One. Good. Chest up. Chest up. Slow down a little bit. Good. One more. Oh, you got one more. One more. Good, now give you partials, chest up, chest up. Go all the way down, halfway up. Good, right there, good. Partial, three, two, one more. Good job. There you go. So, I usually train in the evenings. Uh-huh. I've had a good, like, three meals in at that uh -huh. point. Uh-huh. Um, what's, what's, what's your advice? So typically, you would say, uh, early mornings, one meal, T you know, typically, two, three meals, like two, two to three is ideal. Yeah. I feel it's ideal. Um, sometimes we'll go a little bit more with some of the bigger guys that need more food because sometimes they have to go four or five meals or if there's a problem with the gym timing because if it gets too crowded at the time that they're there, that they like Jay used to do that where he would, he would train really late at night sometimes yeah. because he liked that feel of the same thing just yeah. to stay away from the crowd. He would sometimes do that. But all in all, 
about that one to three o'clock time frame and getting in about three meals ideally yeah. before training is, yeah. is, is right that, is that sweet spot. Yeah. Good. Watch the trap, chest up, chest up more. Okay, keep that core tight. Good. Good. Come down on your, on your lats. Come down on your lats. That's it. Chest, arch your back more, arch your back more. Chest up, chest up. That's it. Good. 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 Come on. Come on. Three more. One. Two. Good. That's it. Oh, good job. Good. So no partials on that one? No, no. What I want you to do is actually, I want to do partials on your front raises. I think okay. you did a great job. I think your shoulders are fried on your lateral head of your delt. And now what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to get you to do, have you ever done them on a spider bench, uh, front raises on a spider bench before? Yes. Okay. For yeah. The barbell or? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to have you do it on dumbbell okay. and I want to have you with a thumbs up because I want you to okay. focus right here on the front delt okay. to try to create some good separation between okay. your upper pec and your front delt. Okay. All right. So what's really important is we want to make sure to minimize any momentum. So the key was to get them seated. So that way we got less body English. It's gonna give you a lot less momentum. Chest up so that you don't have your traps kick in. Make sure you're not going too high so you don't have traps kick in as well, but you also don't wanna to go too low. So we just brought him up just a little bit more so we got parallel with the ground. And then what we got is we got his back arched, chest up, so they can, we can really focus on that lateral head of the delt. Good, yep, just like that. And then thumbs up, yep, thumbs up. So what you're gonna do is just, yeah, just, just regular grip you can yeah. have yep just like that but you want to make sure that your hands are going to be just like if you're holding a plate okay. like that okay and then raise up towards me and you want to go oh yeah there you go <laughs> come on good 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 slow down a little bit slow down slow on the way down good slow good Drive, good, slow, slow on the way down. So you gotta, you gotta slow that way down. Okay, good, that's much better. That's gonna give you much more quality right there. Much more quality muscle, slow, good. Slow it down, good. One more, one more. That's it, that's it, good, good. Okay, so you can tell that you're, you okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give, you, give you a chance to catch I'm your breath for a second. I'm going to come up with some really good questions for you. <laughs> Just to give you a long pause in between. <laughs> That's what Bradley Martin was good at that. Bradley Martin was good at that. He was really good. He's like, uh, can you get him, explain this to me for a second? The biomechanics <laughs> of this X exercise. We need like a geometry formula or something. Like, we'll be occupied. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So. What I've noticed is on a lot of the, the reps and the lifts, it's, 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 it's your, the negative. Yeah. Your negative is a little bit weak. Yeah. you got to slow down. So what does that tell you? That you're probably using a little bit too much momentum. Yeah. And that's what's going to really, I mean, your body's going to change. So the bad news is that um, you're doing it. The good news is now that you notice you're doing it and you work on making sure not to do that and slow down that negative, you're, the quality is going to be, slow yeah. Slow, yep. it down a bit, yeah. slow it down a bit. Two. Good. Three. Good. Three. Four. Good. 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 Slow on that way down. There you go. Slow on that way down. Good. Now give me partials to my hand. Right there. Two. Three, slow. Four. Good job. Good. Good. One more set with that. Good. One. Good. Really good pace. Good control. That's much better. Much better. Focus. There you go. Good. That's it. Slow down. Good. Slow it down. One. Two. Slow it down. Slow it down. Three. Good. A little higher. Four. Good. Now partials with that same grip. Good. That's it. Just right to there. Two. Three. Four. Keep going. One more. One more. Last set. One more. 
That's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. Back one more. I can't count. I don't know if anybody's told you this or not, but I don't know how to count. Good. Good. Go down even lower. Go down even lower. That stretch is so important. Like that. There you go. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Keep going. Keep going. Drive. Good. Keep going. Go. Good. Good. Drive. Good. Squeeze, squeeze. Good. One more, one more. Hold it, hold it. Good job, slow, down. That's it. Good job. And just remember, come back and track those far back as you yeah. can. Bring up your chest just a little bit more, but you're doing a great job. Just bring those elbows back. Yeah. Head, straight. head, head straight, it's fine. Yeah. Thing you don't want to do, don't turn your neck. Yeah. Whatever you do, do yeah. not turn your neck in the middle of this exercise because if you want to end up having a really sore neck yeah, for many know. days, yeah. yeah, you're going to end up pulling something. Good. Oh, yeah. Go. A little bit of weight makes a big difference on this exercise. Come on. Drive it. Good. We really want to work on those rear delts. It's going to give you those 3D shoulders, especially from the side view. Really, really important. Good. Squeeze. Good. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't stop, don't stop. There you go, keep it going. Okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to go a little bit faster. I want you to do double time. This is gonna be almost like a partial, but you're going as far as you can, but a little bit faster. Go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Go, squeeze, good, good. That's it. Good job, good job. That's it, drive, that's it, good job. Now we're going to finish off with an FSC 7 set just to wipe it out. What we're going to do is put a ton of blood in that lateral head of that delt. We did the front, we did the side, we did a compound movement with the press. Now we did rear delt. We're going to go back to lateral and we're just going to fry the shoulders to get that 3D look so he looks like action figure. That's what we want, action figure. So what, what makes a good frame? Wide shoulders, X frame? Yeah. So wide shoulders, cap delt, yeah. and making sure not just on the lateral head, but also from the front and yeah. also on the rear, so you have that three-dimensional look. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put this away. What are other major like, contributing factors to that? Just a frame. Obviously, oh. some, some quad sweeps. Quad sweep. You want to make sure you try to minimize the waist, try to bring that waist down as much as possible so that you can be able to really create that yeah. really dramatic effect. Yeah. So it's not just the V taper, but the X. So V is all the shoulder to the waist, and the X is from the waist all the way to the outer thigh sweep. How's that weight? Is that okay? Oh, yeah. Okay, go, go, go chest up. Good, good, good. We're gonna do 30 seconds in between sets. Keep going, keep going. Good, good. That's it, chest up, good, good. There you go. Good, go, you're gonna go. You're gonna go until you're failure. Yep, you're not, yeah, you're not stopping. You go until failure. Good, good, good. Keep going, keep going. That's it. Keep going, good. Three more, one, a little higher. Two, one more, you got this. Bring it up, bring your elbows up. That's it, good job. Good, we're on the clock. Okay, you got 30 seconds. Drive, good. Squeeze up, chest up, good. Two, keep going. That's it. Drive it up. Good. Drive, drive. Partial, three partials, go. One, go. Two, one more. That's it. Good, okay. That was set number two. We got five more to go. 30 seconds to rest. I'm gonna keep the weight right where it's at because he's doing a good job of keeping his form together. We could eventually go a little heavier once he goes, gets a little stronger, he gets a little bit more used to it. But we wanna keep that blood really pumping in there. It's like a balloon that we're trying to fill up and we don't allow it to retract before we pump it up again for the next set. And then what we wanna do is we wanna try to fat, stretch that fascia from the inside out with just blood flow, blood flow, blood flow. And it's gonna increase the growth factors, which is going to help with that rounder, fuller 3D muscles. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good, keep going. Good, come on, three more. One, go, a little higher. Two, squeeze. Oh, come on, slow, good job. Good, good, you're on the clock. 
Good. Yeah. Good. Come on. Next level, next level. Good. Drive it. Chest up. With me, three. One, a little higher. Two. Nice and slow, 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 good. Good. Go, go. Good, a little higher. There you go. Good. Come on. A little higher, a little higher, go. Come on. Come on, a little higher, a little higher. Good, drop it, drop it, put your arms up, chest up. To your sides, to your sides. Chest up, chest up, chest up, chest up, chest up, chest up. Come on. Down slower, down slow. Hold it, hold it right there. Hold it, slow, 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 slow. Good, all the way up. Come on down, slow, slow, slow. Good, down, down. Good job. Good, got one more set like that. Go, go, go. A little higher, that's it. Good, partials, three, one, go. Two, that's it, drop it, drop it. Hands up, hands up. Come on, chest up, chest up. Come on, come on, come on, fight me. Good, down slowly, down slowly, right there. One more like that. Good, 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 good. Now just, now just hold it. Squeeze your shoulders, come on, flex it out. Flex your shoulders. Hold that, hold that 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. I think I left the sink running. All right. So I can't, I can't go <laughs> higher than that right now. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you guys so much for following the journey. Now it's 2023. We're starting off the season right. We got this amazing, amazing bodybuilder slash influencer slash entrepreneur here in Texas that we've been able to hook up in terms of getting this workout in. We've been talking about it for a little while. He went to his first Mr. Olympia competition. I think it motivated you. Oh, that inspired me. Yeah. That, yeah, that reignited a flame in me to, to want to compete, but just in general, all around content, everything. Yeah. Mr. Olympia was a- Next level for a you. Big milestone, you know. That's it's the big accomplishment being there, attending it, but also it just sparked something. And, I'm hungry, I'm hungry for 2023, and uh, what a way to start it. Well, it was a great workout. Noel was just really pushed himself to the extreme, getting his FSC7 shoulder workout in right before he's leaving for Dubai tomorrow, and um, looking forward to getting another workout with him when he gets back. So again, thank you so much, it was awesome. So Appreciate it was it. an honor. Yeah. Uh, 